I hope you like fun because today we're talking about fun and games. Hi guys, I'm Oddfud. I've been doing a series where I talk about all the different steps that you should go through if you want to make a really strong outline. The, the outlines that I make for my novels are about a whole one subject notebook, so they're really nice and strong and detailed. They've been working for me. I've done a successful NaNoWriMo the last four years. This is the first year I'm taking NaNoWriMo off, and I've also done some camp no NaNoWriMo's along the way too. And uh, without my plans and my outlines, I would not be very good at writing very fast. Writing 50,000 words in a month is pretty fast in my opinion, and I think I've been doing a pretty good job of that. Not everyone writes the same. Some people are able to just sit down and start writing and they have success that way, but that is not me. I am a big planner. Even when I wrote my essays in high school, I would do, I would do such a strong outline so that I basically didn't have to write anything when it came to actually writing my essays. Today we're talking about the fun and games or the promise of the premise. So if we go back to our sine wave, sine curve, we are on the upswing, the top part of the like leading up to the midpoint before things start to go bad. This is happy happy times. If you or sometimes awkward, but like pretty happy times. If you think about the highlight reel of something or the trailer of a movie or something like that, it's often going to be the fun and games of the story. It's also called uh, in some places the promise of the premise. So like the premise is the fun and games and then there's the promise of it. You're like, I want to see this band geek uh, try to <laughs> run track or something like that and like you show like all of the their squabbles and their triumphs and things like that um, if you and like that's how you might advertise it so probably along the way already throughout your outlining journey if you're pro following the steps that I have you have some things floating around in your head scenes that you've been kind of musing about or like things that you want your main character to go through, different ways you want different characters to interact with each other, hilarity ensues, right? I like to call this for myself, this part of the planning and outlining process, I like to call this the second brain dump. You had your original brain dump, like all the things that were like floating around in your head in the beginning of your writing of this story, you just wrote them all down and they probably didn't make that much sense and that's okay. Now you probably have a lot of other things like you you have thought through the overall story circle, you thought through a lot of the different steps, the climactic choices they're gonna have to make, the dark moments, the high moments, all of the different things that your character is going through, you've thought that through. This is the fun part, right? This is what the things that you want them to go through. The fun part for writers probably is like to to try some different things out. So I like to call this the second brain dump because you, over the course of the time that you're doing the outline, you build up more thoughts and stuff that you haven't necessarily been writing down. So now just sit down, write them all out. In my notebook, I usually leave a couple of pages for it for the fun and games because I have like some fun and games at home, some fun and games at like the different settings of the book, like at work or at school, or like if there's like a carnival or something or whatever, like a school dance or a basketball game. Like there's lots of different things that you can write out. So I leave a lot of space for that. And uh, I write down everything I want to. Now, this is not so strict as uh, some of the previous steps, which were to kind of force yourself to write out 20, 20 uh, opening images, for example, or to force yourself to write out several different um, iterations of something. This one is all for you. Write down everything you want. 
and you don't have to force yourself to do more because like I said this is the fun part this is the fun in games you probably have a lot of things milling around in your head if you don't then maybe you have to rethink some of your earlier things that you've decided on is your point of no return not not interesting enough is your setup one not interesting enough and not I'm not saying interesting enough to your readers I mean interesting enough to you as a writer if you are not swimming in different ideas to put your character through at this point then maybe you need to find something that interests you a little bit more so I think that's all I had to say about the fun and games thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it give me a thumbs up that helps me know that you liked it it helps youtube know that you liked it if you want to know more and see more from me about my journey and becoming a writer which is a long one it's it's been a long one and it's gonna continue i'm going to get back to actually sitting down and writing and i'll share some of my tips and tricks on that i'll share my trials and tribulations as i finally start tackling the editing process the scary steps of um reaching out to agents. I will share how that goes for me. And then maybe one day I'm actually going to get published. And I'd love to share that story with you too. So if you are interested in that, please subscribe to this channel. Inter if you're interested in tomorrow's video, which is about the catalyst and the debate, ring the bell to be notified. You'll be the first to know about that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment if you've been watching. It'll really make my day to know that somebody has been watching and gaining something from my videos. So thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!